Good evening, I'm Barbara Brozier. The closure of I-65 is shining a light on Indiana's aging infrastructure. The road has been closed most of the month while crews work to repair a damaged bridge. This comes at a time when the state is in the middle of a two-year study looking at ways to fund its roads and bridges and when Congress is working to craft a long-term transportation funding bill. We have a good opportunity this fall to do a long-term highway bill and we're going to have to find revenue to do that, but tax reform right now looks like that is a good possibility. That would be multinational tax reform. Doesn't uh, increase taxes on our citizens in our state uh, and potentially could uh, create more revenue to get a good federal uh, highway bill long term. Federal funds make up a little more than half of Indiana's $1.8 billion transportation budget. The Federal Highway Trust Fund has been underfunded for years, and in July, Congress only passed a short-term solution. Construction crews have resumed renovations on Franklin Hall after work was stopped last month because of the presence of asbestos. The university brought in an asbestos abatement firm, which went through the entire building, cleaning and wiping every surface. The university tested afterward to ensure no asbestos was in the air or on building surfaces, and construction crews resumed, resumed work August 17th. The total cost of the asbestos abatement was approximately $45,000. Now let's take a look at your weather. Tonight, it looks like it's going to be a nice night, mostly clear skies with a low of 52 degrees. And the rest of the week, it's feeling a little bit like the start of autumn, folks. A high of 75 degrees tomorrow with partly cloudy skies. Thursday, a high of 76 with mostly sunny skies. And Friday, partly cloudy, a little warmer, a high of 81. Have a great night and thanks for joining us.